For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Hallelujah. Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Verse 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you, and his glory shall be seen upon you. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. I said, the Lord is saying to you and I, to his body, and when I speak about the church, I don't speak about churches, I speak about the church. Because God doesn't have churches, he has a church. He said, I will build my church. Jesus said, I have a sheep, but not of this flock. So this ministry is a part of the flock, is a part of the body of Jesus Christ. But God is saying to the church in French Guyana, the body in French Guyana, arise, shine. Why? Because the light has come. Our light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. So I checked the dictionary, the Bible dictionary, not the English dictionary, to see what it means to arise. And I choose five of the sentences that was in. Number one, it says, to ascend, mount up, or move to a higher place. To emerge from below the horizon as the sun or the star arises or rises. Number three, to get out of the bed, get out of your bed, to leave the place or the state of rest, or to leave a city or a lying posture. To begin to act. Hallelujah, God is speaking. Because the church in French Guyana is not acting. I said we are not acting. So God said it's time to begin to act. To exercise power. To move from a state of inaction. And begin to act. To appear or to become.
We wonder who they are. And what we got to see is one that we did not know. We have never witnessed to them. Why? Because all we have now is people who move from one church to another church. One church and we are the new members. We are the new priests. Shame on us. But God said, it's time to arise. Pastor Chappie Prince said, it's time to arise. You're not better than me, I'm not better than you. None of us are better than each other, but we have a mission. God has given us a ministry in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18. He said, and he has committed unto us the ministry of reconciliation. God was in Christ, recognizing the, re reconciling the work himself, and he has given you and I that ministry. Look at the neighbor say, so you have a ministry. Stop sitting on waiting for bad news. That's what the church has been filled with. Full of bad news. How can we win French Guyana when we are pulling each other down? Are you taping? Put it on Facebook. Let our other parts to hear it. We gotta stop it. I said we gotta stop it. Ministers of God who are called to correct what is wrong. I said we are called to correct what is wrong. And if God is speaking, God is saying to us, we have to come together. We have to come together. Can you imagine this year, a young convert? One of my daughters, she came as a pastor. She just got saved. She had never been to any other church, I think. And she said, why we can't, why all the churches can't come together? Imagine that's the cry of a baby. Imagine a baby's cry and asking, why can't all the English churches come together? You know why we can't come together? Huh? Because the enemy has blinded us. The God is here tonight. Rush. When you arrive, shine! What does shine mean? It means to emit red of light. To give light, to be in splendor. As the sun shines by the day, the moon by night. That's what God's called us to shine. Then they begin to shine. Don't only rise, but as you rise, you must shine. But let me tell you what the church is doing today. The church is not shining. You know what we're doing? We sparkling. <laughs> Have you ever come too drunk and scratch it? It's wax. That's not China. When you black out, you can't get too drunk and spark. You need light. What do you need? Huh? Not sparkling. But that's what we do when we're sparkling. When we deny the power thereof, every one of us can sit here. And if I should ask you a question, you can answer it. If I could ask you a question, what about your sister? What about your brother? What about that person? You can tell me everything over there. And nothing good. All the bad things. What about Jesus? What about your relationship with God? Are you shining? Since you know that your brother is not shining, what about you? Are you shining? Are you shining? Are you shining? God is saying to us, we have to stop sparking and begin to shine. Tell you, it's time for us to shine. It's time for us to shine. God has put everything in us to shine. Are you hearing me? God has put everything in us to arise. In Matthew chapter 5. Quickly, let, let me give you these few verses quickly. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14, 15, and 16. He said, ye are the light. You are the light of the world. Me, you, we, us. We are the light. It isn't say you will be the light, it's say you are the light of the world. A city that is set on, an, on a hill cannot be hidden. 
Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light, let our light so shine. Let our light so shine. Let our light so shine. Let our light so shine before men that they will see our good works and glorify God which is in heaven. Are you with me? Are you with me? You're not here to glorify a church. You're not here to build up a ministry. You're not here to build up a pastor. We're here to build Jesus up. Why are you here so easy? I said we're here to build up Jesus. I said we're here to build up Jesus. Follow Jesus. There's no more time for us to sit back. I, 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 I read to you what arise, what arise means. It means to appear, to become known. It's time for the church to become known in French Guyana. It's time for us to become known because we are the light of the world. We are the light. We are the salt of the earth. It's time for us to become known. And Jesus prayed in John chapter 17. And I pray tonight that we as ministers, we as believers will answer that prayer. He said, Father, make them one. Make them one. Not, not because of him. He said, so the world will see. The world will know. Make them one, Lord. Every one of us, we stand on Sundays and we preach Jesus. But you see that the Jesus we preach is divided. That the same Jesus we preach, we pray. He said, make them one. Make them one. Pastor Chapter 3 or 1. That's, 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 that's our desire. Our desire is to fulfill his work. To fulfill his prayer. He prayed. Before he left the heart, he said, Make them one. He looked at his disciples. They were arguing, they had privileges among themselves. And he said, Only by this shall all men know you are my disciple. No. So the Bible said that our light shall. We are the light of the world. Look at me, they also have the light of this world. I'm the son of this country. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. Quickly. Quickly. That's who we are. And let me show you that God meant for us to be so. That's what he said in Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1, verse 2 and 3. It says, Now it shall come to pass in the latter days, and we are in those days. I said, we are in those days. We are in the last of the last days. He said, in these days, that the mountain of the Lord house shall be established on the top of the mountain. Not in the valley. On the top of the mountain. And shall be exalted above the hills. And all nations shall flow to it. I was saying to somebody today, I heard the Lord said there's a new breed of people who's going to come. I said there's a new breed of people. Hallelujah. Some of them you have known them by the Krikara and by Chicago. Some of them you know them by Bornos that have guns. God is going to save those people. I said those are the people. Those are the people that's going to arise in these last days. And we that sit in them to back to hear bad news about each other. God's God said his house shall be established upon the mountain. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? And that's where God's house is supposed to be. It's supposed to be known. I said God's house is supposed to be known. But it's our responsibility. Everyone that has listened to my voice, everyone that has called in the name of the Lord, everyone that has said that you are a child of God, you are a Christian, you have a responsibility. And God is going to Hold you a cup. You will have to get a cup to God for the responsibility has given to you. Continue. As the Africans say, continue. Continue. You want to carry bad news? Continue to carry bad news. You want to hear rubbish bin? What do you do? What, what goes in rubbish bins? Huh? Oh, so you want to hear rubbish bins receive the trash? Now the person must guide your heart because out of it comes the peace of light. Tell you the 
never, I don't want to be a rubbish bitch. I want to be a vessel of God. Amen? So the Bible says, His house shall be established on a mountain. Michael chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. No need to go there. It says the same thing. Now, that was arising quickly. Shining. Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13. Verse 43. It says, Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their fathers. Who had hairs to hear? Let him hear. The righteous, are you not the righteous of God in Christ Jesus? The Bible says we are the righteousness of God. So God says you are righteous, then you're supposed to shine. Shine as the sun in the kingdom of our God. Hallelujah. It's time to shine. I said it's time to shine. Arise! Shine! 2 Corinthians chapter 4, quickly. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4 and 5. Why are we not shining? Could it be this? Could it be this? Could it be this is the reason why the church in French Guiana is not shining? Who's blind? Did the God of this age blind us? Are we so blind? Huh? Who do not believe? We say we believe, but we don't believe. Lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. If we do believe the gospel, hallelujah, I said the image of God will shine. The gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, he will shine. We are blind and we don't even care anymore. We are so caught up. And who do this and who do that and who do this and who do that? Brother and sister, the day of judgment, God is not asking you who do who and who do who. He's asking you what have you done. Since you know this do that, he do that, what have you done? What have you done? What are we doing? Is it true? Could it be the reason to the acts of my God together and ask why the English churches can't come together? Could this be the reason that the devil and the God of this world has blinded us? That we throw back waiting? We waited to see who passed through this and who if the members gonna run and come to the church? Is that what God called us to do to throw up and wait? Did God call us to carry bad news? Or He has given us good news? It's our choice. What are we going to take? What are we going to carry? The good news of Jesus Christ. Because it's all about Him. It's all about Him. Verse 6 says, For it is the God who commanded light to shine out of darkness, who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Oh, because of time, I don't, I don't want to go there. Let's go to the next, the last, the last scripture. First John chapter 2, verse 8 and 11. First John chapter 2, verse 8 to 11. We close. Brothers, let's look at this. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Let's read it. Again, a new commandment I write to you, which thing is truth in him and in you. Is it? Because the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. Let's get in the light. It's already shining. We 
still in darkness. Still in darkness. He who loves his brother abides in the light. If you want to shine that light, you shine the light in our love. The more you love, hallelujah, the more the light shines. And you know what 1 Corinthians chapter 20 says? Love doesn't speak evil on one another. How can I say love past a trap man? As soon he turned his back, I begin to talk about him. Is that love? Is that love, church? No. I'm asking your friend, is that love? No. How can I say I love his ministry and then I stand here and preach against it? Is that love? Is that love? That's to show that we as an English church, we still in darkness. But we still need the light. We are a bunch of liars. A bunch of hypocrites. The Bible said, he who loves his brother abides in the light. And there is no cause of cause of stumbling in him. But he who hates his brother is in darkness. And walks in darkness and does not know where he is going. <laughs> because the darkness has blind his eyes. Now you who are here, the Lord is saying to us, arise and shine. Come out of darkness. Let love be sincere. Let love be without hypocrisy. Are you here with me? Are you hearing me? Why are you hearing so easy that you're not hearing me? We are here for Thanksgiving, right? And God has given us a word. He said, Arise and shine, for the light has come. And the glory of the Lord has been risen upon us. We got to correct some stuff. I said, We got to correct some stuff. I said, We have to correct some stuff. And let true love flow from our hearts. Let, 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 let us be true lovers. Hallelujah. Because the truth is that the love of God is inside of us. First John chapter 3. Verse 1 says, Oh, what man of love the Father has lavished upon us that we should be called children of God. Romans chapter 5. Verse 5 says, And God does not disappoint, but the love of God has been spread abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who lives in us. I pray that that love is going to spread and spread through us to somebody else. That I can look at you, I can look at any one of us, I love you and I need it. And you can feel it because don't you know that people don't understand this. Love just compels you. Love pushes you. Love is a force. Love is more than a feeling. It's a force. It causes you to do things that you don't want to do. It causes you to do things. It causes you to forgive. It causes you to, to help. It causes you. It pushes you. It was the love that Jesus had for us that pushed him to the cross for us. So let's arise and let's shine. God's army, arise and shine. Arise and shine. Our light has come. God did not give me this word for God's army only. He gave me for the church. It's church. Listen to me, Pastor. Pastor. Chapman, we need to understand this. God did not call you for that church that you have there. He called you for the body. You have a message for the body. Are you hearing me? I said, every part of this one has a message. It's either, we, we think that we have a message for the little gathering we have. No! We have a message for every believer, every sinner. We have a message for this country. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? We were not called for a little church. We are called for the body of Christ. The Bible said in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11, and he gives some to me. He gives some to me. What? Apostles, prophets, pastors, evangelists, and teachers. Some to be. Not some to be called. Are you hearing me? He did not give us apostles and, a, and a prophet to be called a prophet. We did not give those titles to be called one. We, have, we were given to be one. Oh, yeah, I am not hearing you. Amen. Pastor, you, I don't have to call you pastor. You are a pastor, no? So whether I call you or not, you're not a pastor? Whether I call you brother, 
brother or sister are, are you not a Christian? Hello? 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 So don't be afraid people call you brother or sister. Your mother gave you a name to be called that name. What's your name? Your mother gave me that name to be called Ria. Okay, so if I am Ria, go next. God is saying your name for us, brother, sister Ria. Say your name. But you are a sister in the body of Christ. You gotta stop this thing. You gotta rise and shine. You gotta rise and shine. You gotta rise and just shine. Just shine. Put all those foolishness behind us. And let's be who God called us to be. Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? Somebody shut up! Hallelujah. Oh Jesus, we give you 
so that your church is a part of that body, not this army, this part of your body. How to make you be known in this country? We want to make you be known in this country. We want you, we want to make you proud. We want to make Jesus proud. We want to make you proud of us, oh God. Oh God, we want to make you proud of us by doing what you have called us to do. Father, we bless your holy and mighty name. I pray for your people tonight. I pray for everyone that has took the time to come out to celebrate and to join us to say thanks. I pray you bless them. I pray you keep them. I pray God you will cause your face to shine upon them. I pray you lift up your confidence upon that, O oh God. Oh, tonight I pray you lift your hands and I bless you and release you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his confidence upon you and give you his peace. I stand in the authority of the word of God and I say to you that no weapon that formed against you shall ever prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment is condemned. You shall live and not die to proclaim the word of the living God. Yes, yes, yes. A thousand shall fall on your left, ten thousand on your right, but it shall not come by thee. Because he has given his angel charge to keep you. Oh, the Lord keep you. Because he's a shade upon your right hand. He will not to smite you by day, neither the moon by night, but he shall preserve you from all evil. He preserves you going after you coming in from this time full evil from them, Lord. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that the peace that surpasses all understanding will guide the hearts and the minds of your people in Christ Jesus. Now, to the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all, now and forever, now God, we shall, amen. amen.